thank you so much, sir, for agreeing to talk to us. Uh, this is an oral history interview for the History of Indo-French Scientific Partnership in oh. Space Sciences. So first of all, I would uh, like to ask you, because you were there since the day one of the space program, I mean, much before that. You worked with Professor Sarabhai. You saw the entire space program develop in front of your eyes. You were the leader. You led the organization for some time. You continue to do so. So first thing I think um, all of us would be interested in knowing is how you saw the program developing and what was the role of the French in it? Well, this is an interesting question. You know, I was uh, uh, had my research career at the Physical Research Laboratory at Ahmedabad and that was at that time headed by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. He had these uh, multiple roles in the country, as you know, he was an industrialist, he was an institution builder, he was a great visionary, which started the India Space Program. And then he started also the Physical Research Laboratory, which is a pure science lab, primarily for space-related activities. So there are many such things which he did. So I got the privilege and opportunity of working at the Physical Research Laboratory directly under his <coughs> supervision. And that was the time in which I joined in 1963. And as you know, 62, the rocket was fired. First rocket was fired. So the Tumba was just opening up the Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, a very unique location for, because the geomagnetic equator passes through that. And therefore, there are a lot of scientific phenomena in the atmosphere and ionosphere which one can study. So here was a visionary who thought that it is good to start with science good to start with something where the scientists will be interested and therefore there will be an impetus to do that and in the process open up a program which will turn out to be finally a space program for this country. And I should say I was a student. So I was witnessing from the ringside seat. I was not a part of the system. Even though I was given a job, a kind of a research work which is related to studying the cosmic x-rays coming from outer space. This itself was a very fascinating subject. 1962 saw the birth of this X-ray astronomy uh, by Bruno Rossi and others at the United States. But what is important is Sarabhai as a visionary started this program soon after that. So but it was a part of future space activity because X-rays have to be detected in space, not on the ground, as much of the X-rays. So I was working on that and I was also witnessing the birth of the space program right under our eyes at the Physical Research Laboratory. And if you ask me, Sarab, I realized one thing. And this is, in a sense, I was surprisingly, I also saw France having a similar view when they started the space program, that they will not go it alone to start with. So France decided that it will be a part of a cooperation where they will grow the space, but India Sarabha recognized that if we have to move fast and we have to do something very tangible, it should be a part of an international collaboration and cooperation where many countries can come together and work with India. India will learn out of it initially because they are much more advanced like France, USA, uh, Germany, US, then the USSR and so on and so forth. So he knew that it is good to uh, collaborate with them. Then the magnetic equator location passing over Tumba became a very unique geophysical resource for Indians to undertake experiments in the upper atmosphere, ionosphere. And there were a number of Indian scientists who were working in this because they had earlier participated in International Geophysical Year, International Quiet Sun Year, those kind of things. So there was a background on the scientific side. And here was a French scientist who saw in this a unique opportunity of collaborating with India. That was Jacques Blamont. At that time, Jacques Blamont also was leading the French space program. He had a good friend in my, one the one with whom I directly worked also under PhD, Professor P.D. Bowser. And they together came to Vikram Saraba in an international conference and say how France can be helpful. And Sarabhai thought that France would be one of the wonderful partners in the years to come. What a vision he had of working with France. So he said that we should. And he also said that maybe we should work together 
as a part of an international setup to establish the Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station. So here was the French government which went with that, the Indian government went with that. Sarabha Brown ensured that from Indian side there is a full cooperation with France. And in the process we got a Cotal radar that is the first one of the first thing to come up from France as a technology to track the uh, rockets, it is a Cotal radar. The France also said that we will help you to with sounding rockets with which you can study the upper atmosphere. And then thus came the Centaur rockets that came from France. Then France also said not only that we will supply you Centaur rocket, but we will give you the technology so that you can build it yourself, the sounding rocket. So Atomic Energy Commission and the French Space Agency had an agreement to build this. And in the process, the technology of propellants and many other aspects of the rocketry also got transferred. So these were all the early, and then Bramo said that I would like to study the apparatus. He's not just giving a rocket to you. We would like to study the equatorial upper atmospheric phenomena, especially the winds. So we will give you a sodium vapor canister, which you can release in the atmosphere and study the cloud and its dynamics. And from that, you can evaluate the, uh, the winds structure. So it was a very unique and interesting experience. There was no measurement of winds in the equatorial latitudes at 100 kilometers and above. And this was the first such experiment. So these are all the beginnings, a humble beginning to a major program that it evolved into. So I remember vividly Sarabha's collaboration and understanding with the France, the France enthusiasm to help India in setting up the turrets. France collaboration with India in terms of doing scientific experiments thanks to Blamo and his other colleagues in France and India had Professor Bowser and others, Sarabai student he was, uh, who also cooperated and there came the first of the steps which was soon to grow into a major cooperative framework. It would be nice to actually know uh, the kind of person you are. Uh, when we are putting out history, it is important to know who the historian is. And because you saw everything from your own eyes, so I think it would be nice if you can take us through your personal journey in the space program and how you personally felt uh, wherein, uh, when uh, your projects became uh, success, how you felt, when you became the chairman, what was your feeling? And when you accomplished so many things in your life, what kind of feelings, what kind of ideas that you've spent time in, what, well, you know, what kind of friendships that you've developed over the years? Uh, what are the things that you are extremely proud of? First and foremost, I want to say I was always interested in astronomy as a subject. This is from my younger days, getting fascinated by looking at the skies. Those years I was in Kerala, the southernmost tip of India, and I was born in Kerala, and I had the advantage of a dark night sky with its all panoramic view of stars and galaxies and so on. So that triggered a, an interest in astronomy which continued in my later years in my education, physics, mathematics, astronomy and so on. Naturally, when I joined the Physical Research Laboratory, I got the opportunity to work on cosmic X-rays, I mentioned about it. And this is certainly a very fascinating area of high energy astronomy, black holes, neutron stars, galaxies, highly yeah, active core of galaxies b bursting out energy and things of that kind. So that is that is one of the fascinating part of my life in terms of pursuit of science. But once I entered the physical research laboratory where I was to complete this job, which I did as a part of building a balloon flights, which I flew into the stratosphere to look at the cosmic X-ray. This was Hyderabad? This was Bombay? This is, this is from Hyderabad. This is from Hyderabad. Yes, there a balloon center which is run by Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. Mm -hmm. That is the place we used to fly our instruments also with the TAFR balloon. That was the same time when <laughs> Devendra Lal and Yashpal were yes, also yes, there. Yes, yes, I was a student. I was one generation younger. Oh, okay. Compared to the Devendra Lal and the Yashpal. Mm -hmm. But they were their senior professors mm -hmm. at Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. Mm -hmm. And I was a student at the Physical Research Laboratory. Bowser was at their contemporary, mm. but my I was one generation younger. Mm. So, having completed that, Sarabhai offered me this job of doing space. He wow. was very persuasive, even though I wanted to do a postdoc abroad. Mm. But uh, he said that 
nothing like doing it, uh, doing space program in our country. At that too, as a pioneer, you will not be a pioneer. Mm. That he had that kind of vision to mm. induce youngsters. So I joined the space program. But he was been, right. Huh? He, he was right. Yeah. Uh, well, the, yeah, prophetic. The, some of these people are prophetic. I agree with you. Very interesting part of their life. Mm -hmm. So then he said about the fact that I should join the space for the satellite program because he said that he is getting you are raw was he was a student mm. he was abroad he was coming back from a stint at uh, professorship at university of texas at dallas so he said he will be joining and i am going to put him in charge of satellite program of isro you will closely work with him and we are building this 40 kilogram rohini satellite which belongs with our first launch vehicle mm. slv3 mm. at that time of course developed by four major directors. Mm. Later on, when Professor Dhawan took over, he made Kalam the overall in charge of the whole thing. That is how mm. it changed. But it was, it was initially in Sarabai, it was a four-stage vehicle mm. uh, with four uh, people looking after the flow with four stages. Uh, but that's interesting, different, different story. But then, having been, then I worked, but only, only point I had with worry with Sarabai was the question I asked him about if physicists with some limited knowledge of doing instrumentation how can you do justice to a highly technological component like satellite with multidisciplinary approach like structure, thermal, power, control systems, communication system, digital electronics, electromagnetics and things of that kind. These are very high bro engineering system. He said that that is exactly where you will play a role. You as a physicist, you have a better knowledge of the total system than many other people. Mm. So I treat you as a systems man, not so much as a <laughs> subsystem man. So he gave me tremendous explanation of the various things. And that also showed his understanding of how to pe put people in different places mm. the right way. So that was Sarabha's way of doing things. So I benefited from his vision and his professional thing that the expectation that we youngsters should work, work in India space program. I've mean, worked in this kind of experiments and so on. So uh, then I went into Aryabhata to work with your Rao, more as an overall configurational control man. Mm -hmm. And then I was assigned the directorship, project directorship of the Bhaskara, where we use the French uh, television camera system. Mm -hmm. It's a slow scan Vidicon camera mm -hmm. system. We got it from Thompson CSF. And uh, George Joseph, who is a colleague of mine, who is also retired now along with me, mm -hmm. uh, he was the real designer of those camera system. They, mm -hmm. the, and uh, I remember a nice anecdote about it. I, both George and myself went to that place uh, of Thompson CSF for the Ang, Ang Franco Swiss border. Very famous place. I just don't get it. Beautiful place. Mm -hmm. So that they had a factory where the thing was designed and built. Mm -hmm. So we had a review of the progress and the reliability. So they had a very nice uh, presentation in the morning and they were supposed to get ready for a discussion in the afternoon. As usual, the French, uh, they wanted to they, they entertain us with a good lunch, a multi cuisine lunch and with a lot of care they had chosen everything, including wine and everything. But George and myself and plus one or two of our colleagues, we were very frugal the way we ate. Mm. So we hardly touched most of it and had a little bit of grub here and there mm. and got ready for the review. Mm. He said, you guys are still very alert on this matter of review. Are you really serious here? Yeah. Yes, we are. See, what happens is we normally get the guests here, they review it all right before lunch. But once we feed them with the lunch, then they are no longer interested in the review. <laughs> Teach anything. Yeah, you Indians are very different. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, come for review and you are doing only review. You are not worried about the lunch we give. So, I mean, that is a French <laughs> they joked that way. So, this is the kind of a thing that they were. But uh, they gave us a good uh, uh, system. And uh, we had the Arya Bhaskara's cameras working later on. He had some problem hiccups. But one of the camera worked finally. And first imagery is from the space. We got to Bhaskara with the French slow scan Vedicon yeah. system. Yeah. Having developed a confidence with them, we also developed the IRS camera I mentioned about it. World class optical system we designed. Our engineers designed. But we had to you know, cut it and grind, grind it, polish it and so on. 
which we got from France because it is a very highly sophisticated thing. You lambda by 60, we want to know some numbers in this, the accuracy. This is lambda by 60, what you may call as a uniformity of the surface. Mm. So that is the kind of a thing. So it is a very demanding performance that we wanted to set for that. Mm. So the French built the optical system. Both they initially built for IRS 1A and 1B transmission optics, mm. later on reflective optics. These were world-class optics which Indians designed, youngsters designed with innovative, but the French built it, did it for us, built it for us. So IRS 1A and IRS 1 series, the early part of the IRS series, we got these things built by French. And later on, they, we had also facilities which are brought from France and those were used. And today's India's world-class camera systems are built here in India, in wow. Bangalore. So that's a, at least the optics part of it. Other things are built at uh, space applications. And that. But what I, what I want to say is that this is the story when I went into remote sensing. And from there, I moved over to the director of the center. And the director of the ISRO Satellite Center, it was called at that time. UR Rao became the chairman and I became the director. After 10 years of stint with UR Rao as chairman, I moved over as chairman of ISRO. I uh, left uh, the, 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 the center and that is the time at which I came more in contact with a French mm. uh, friend of mine, uh, Alain Ben -Sosson. So during the period 1993 to 2004, no, 19, no, sorry, during the period, yeah, 1994 to uh, 2003, nine, nine years, nine mm. and a half years mm. kind of a thing, I had a good uh, Rapport with uh, Alain Ben Susan. We did a lot of that is the time in which we initiated the concept of a, a flagship program called Megatropics. The earlier programs were all moved uh, in the way like, like development, the new you know, scientific collaborations and the remote sensing applications and working with SPOT and IRS together. Mm. So these are things which were done. And then also we wanted to with the area space, mm. they, they did a good job of supporting us in the insert launches during his time. Mm. So there were many such things and then a large scale procurement program where we wanted to depend on French industries. And so industry collaborations was another thing. And also laid the foundation for commercialization. One or two of the French made satellites at Actium, Astrium, uh, were launched with the India's PSLV if you remember. Yes. And this, so these are all, there were commercial launches possibility whereas we were using the uh, Varian, they used four of the PSLV flights for their commercial use including two of the spot satellites were launched with PSLV. Wow. So these were, these were, so these were all, but this happened a little later after mm. I quit its role, but they, we laid the foundation yes. for this kind of it. So this is, but my thing was that uh, I also made sure that we have a new generation uh, GSLV. This is the GSLV Mark III. So we, the initial design was done during my time. We also made sure that, that we have a planetary program. So I initiated the program on Chandrayaan. Yeah. Later grew into the present planetary program. This is the third, second. Third thing is also worked on the uh, navigation system. Mm. In regional, initially local, regional and global. Mm. So we have now reached the regional navigation system. It's mm. moving towards the global. Mm. We have had a lot of good cooperation on the national navigation system with the French. Mm. It was, even though initiated during my time, the actual implementation started later on mm. by my successors. So that is other part of it. And I should also say with happiness that uh, there's no more into the human space flights. And we think that whatever I said about the future of French or French cooperation mm. uh, will certainly be realistic because mm. of what we did in the past and the type of confidence and trust we have for each other and the type of resources and other capabilities which you can bring together in this and politically there's a very strong will mm. to work together person to person relationship yeah. you know this is it is not the government which did a political decision to work with each other mm. it is individuals like sarabai blamo who thought that we should work together these are the kind of possibilities and then the government took up those proposals and at the political level take a decision but the program itself was germinated conceptualized and evolved mm. by the scientists that's the beauty of the whole thing in that's the beginning true. and that, that is, is with true. france that i am sure it happened with us with germany and even with even though soviet union was a little more formal mm. uh, they used to 
make sure that at the prime minister's level and president's level they have the agreement mm. but by and large the western world cooperations a lot of personal element to it wow i think that that for personal character to science and especially in these kind of programs added more value to the project than took from it in the sense that even <clears throat> there was some tussle going on science did not stop because of that tussle that's true you know very 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 correctly <coughs> in fact if you ask me uh, I, I, we are not discussing anything mm. i think on a, a, a timeline basis no. I, we are just uh, i i'll tell you the kind of things i i was uh, ch chairman of isro in between 1994 and 2003 around 10 years of stint as isro chairman during that time i had uh, don dan golden was the chair, nasa administrator alain bansuzo was the cnes president alain alain bansuzo and then i have, there is a uh, prob uh, the at the at the us it was a russia it was yuri koptev was the and there was a, a similar person in germany we were all born around 1940 we had the same outlook about space wow. and more importantly we had the same outlook about cooperating in space as an international effort wow. so very rarely this kind of a synergy of thinking at the top level of an organizations hmm. with similar objectives were seen in fact i myself never experienced it earlier or later but this was there hmm. and virtually 10 years most most of us were there in the picture wow. and the process i want to single out alain because that is he was the french uh, president mm. of the president of the french uh, cnes mm. he was an extraordinary individual he was a mathematician actually mm. he was a very renowned mathematician and statistics specialist but they put him as the chairman of the, the cnes and uh, he carried forward 10 years of eventful period of the french space program and uh, i was at that time this and we quickly understood each other started developing friendship but there was also the time in which uh, we had to get into several important agreements with france there was this continuation of arians use which is a cnes majority shareholder european vehicle um, this uh, which is area we had this lot of procurement from france you know one of the thing is many many batteries optical systems charge coupled devices electro optical systems for arya but baskara this were all bought from france companies like thomson csf and many others came forward to help us to you know commercial this on commercial basis a soft give us the batteries and things of that and then there was this uh, uh, also work on uh, viking engine because liquid engine was about davan's time hmm. there was a excellent arrangement by which france made up for its technical expertise augmentation hmm. in their major space program by getting indians hmm. and indians in the process learned a little bit about the viking engine hmm. which later became vikas engine hmm. powering the second stage of the pslv hmm. and the technology was also therefore available to us the earthsorable systems of uh, liquid engine and then we also made they said that you prepare those transducers which are measuring the pressures and so on and you supply in large numbers so that our companies don't have to deploy precious manpower for that so india had an agreement by which they get the technology of viking and india built lot of transducers and supplied it to their specification to france mm. this kind of things you know it was a technology and you mm. besides this is the second step from the So the center i said where the technology was transferred so this is the second step but most importantly during my time i would just want to tell we had agreement by which france but france will give the images from spot the agreement with the irs where they if i can make use of the indian remote sensing satellite capabilities but we had to also build a complicated optics for it we had our own ambition to equalize ourselves in terms of capability and capa this thing with spot this is an ambition quite a big ambition 
-hmm. So, but our engineers signed, designed some very beautiful optical systems, uh, which had this very uniqueness in terms of the geometry. And, but the fabrication, we again took the help of France. Then when come to the French called the design of our optical system, the comment I heard from the French specialist was, how we see that France did not uh, think about it on this line. <laughs> so they also appreciated India's ingenuity and innovativeness in this kind of technologies. This is another kind of it. Then third point, which is the one that is <coughs> the same. We had this, you know, sanctions from U.S. We were, uh, you know, under that famous, uh, not famous, not so famous, uh, <laughs> the agreement uh, between the European countries and Western countries. Uh, they, they, they will not transfer anything which is related to rocket related and therefore when India had a certain the capability developed for the vehicle and so on, we had the difficulty of facing sanctions on US components. Mm. And uh, obviously we, our technologies and our approach to doing things were Western oriented. Because our engineers have morely studied in Western countries and elsewhere. They have a good background in the Western technologies, much more easily available in terms of the open literature and therefore amenable to adopting for designs which we would like to do. So because of all that, we were oriented towards Western capabilities. So when that kind of a thing was suddenly shut off because bulk of it came from U.S., we had to make sure that the Western technology is still maintained, otherwise our program could have had. And we had a good, good understanding with France. And we virtually could adopt Western technology thanks to France. And that is something on which we overcame. Part of the one decision is to take indigenization, take, make sure that India develops its own capability, which it did in many, many fronts. There were also few in which we wanted specialized inputs to come from there because of the level of sophistication we wanted to build in. This we got from France. So in this Alain Bensouzan was my counterpart there. We had an excellent understanding and we were open. The beauty of the whole thing is these are all coming because you want to do something secretly. Mm. We, the anywhere applications of various components and other technologies are concerned, they have had full visibility of where it is going, why it is going and what we are doing. So they have trust in the system. And that is a good thing about ISRO because ISRO is open system, it's a civilian system. Therefore, the countries which work with ISRO, they have excellent trust on the system itself. And French appreciated this very well with respect to the collaboration and cooperation. So the initial portion from the Tumba rocket launching station, it moved over to technology transfer and technology acquisition like components and so on. This is the second phase. Then, during our time, we again between Benzozon and we thought we should need a flagship kind of a program where we work as equal partner. Now that India has already reached a certain level of maturity, France already has got that level and therefore we could work together as an equal partnership basis. And that is where Benzozon and uh, Professor Benzozon and myself thought that we should really come out with a very good mission which can make a difference to the scientific component of that area. That was the birth of a megatropics. A tribe of satellite which is devoted to understanding the monsoons, monsoonal systems of the equator. And therefore it had to be at a low inclination orbit like 28 degrees at around 800 kilometers. But carries those of the instrument, primarily microwave radiometer kind of instrument which will make measurements on monsoonal parameter, precipitation, radiation, um, the, 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 the temperature and things of that kind, but in the microwave domain, which is very critical and sensitive in terms of precipitation and related matter. That is really a remarkable mission because it was one of its kind. It added to the global precipitation mission in which China, in which Japan had it. A measure instrument in one of their satellites, but this was one of the very successful 10 year profile mission. No. Which only recently they have been reviewing the scientific outcomes. But I should say that was one of the flagship, and that also triggered the future of how the French Indo French this thing should grow the, the cooperation in space. 
uh, I would should say that the ad Attica, which is the altimeter measurements of the mm. thing to understand ocean dynamics and things like that, were proper next step towards such flagship missions between India and France, which today is becoming a very one of the key mainstay of a model of cooperation where each benefit from the other's capability and share the resources. That's <coughs> very insightful, sir. I think <coughs> one more thing that... Um, also comes to my mind if there are um, uh, you know um, uh, some highlights that uh, are there that uh, have defined the indian space program megatropics happens to be one of them and i think that is one of the prime that i think that was also the time when a developing country like india was talking about climate change yeah and the, the major dialogues came much later but India and France, through our space program, we were talking about climate change in a very, very deep philosophical sense, in a very deep impact sense. But, you know, uh, then it comes through, it, it takes its own course to actually form a dialogue. But Megatropics was one of the highlights. And again, as you said, the Vikas engine uh, was another highlight. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Apple program? I think that's, that's an interesting <coughs> No, India was trying to make sure that uh, both in remote sensing and communication where the country size, complexity, the opti optimal management of resources on one side and com providing communication, com connectivity between different parts, they became key elements to promoting a space program because it had direct grassroots applications. So, Whereas we knew that we had to build up a remote sensing satellite on our own, this is primarily because of the fact that these are also dual use applications, so it's not easy to get the, tele the, the technology. But as I told you that we, we designed critical systems, but some of them implementation, like building the optic, once you have a design of an optics to, uh, to grind a glass, by, uh, polish a glass, and uh, then finally to provide the best of the surface feature of robotic systems which do this. Some of this we got from France too. Mm. For us. So those are those kind of support we got from. So the, these are all important steps towards India's ability to build this kind of world class system. So I always give the important, other than the Indian capabilities and the Indian brains, if you ask about the network, the next best in terms of backing you up mm. is France. That is a, that's one aspect of it. The, the, second, the second thing is that uh, France had no hesitation to work uh, in any of these areas. And uh, therefore, when India wanted to go for a communication system, it had the initial uh, support from NASA of building an ATSF satellite, which they moved. No, to during India. the site program. Right. At the same time, India was negotiating with uh, Europe to see whether we can use the symphony. Mm. And what they India suggested at that time was very interesting. You have built a satellite called a symphony for communication. Why don't we build a joint symphony which can culturally and education-wise can help India? Mm. In culturally means you bring in programs mm. which are societal value and things mm. like that. So why don't we build a satellite and which we will also share the resources? So, symphony was a proposed, the second symphony, mm -hmm. which will be an Indo-French. Indo mm -hmm. But as it was being discussed, NASA had launched this ATSF. So, mm -hmm. the ATSF became mm -hmm. the part of the site experiment with the satellite and spectrum television experiment, where the similar objectives were satisfied. So, then we thought that instead of building a symphony as a collaborative thing, why don't India build a satellite itself and see whether we can get the first hands wetted mm. by the building of a design and building of a communication satellite, operating it in space, doing some limited experiments and getting it launched for the front generously offered one of their test flights of area. Mm. So that is the history. I think some very major milestone. You right, rightly pointed out the importance because first time India could build an experimental communication satellite, which is the Apple. Area and passenger payload experiment, as we wanted to call it, which is called Apple. 
Secondly, it had two transponders, so we could do some limited communication experiments, C-band transponder. And they, uh, there are small components which are critical for this. Some of them were given to us by France and others we, of course, all built like the Apogee boost motor. We use the fourth stage of the SLV, things of that kind. So, but we built that. And then finally, the French in their second or third experimental test flight launched Apple. Mm -hmm. And so it got into the geosynchronous transfer and finally we put, us, put, 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 us, put it into a geosynchronous orbit. And so India's first experimental communication satellite, Apple, was enabled by the French support, both in terms of some components, but importantly, they gave us a gratis launch because it was a test flight, but they could have still charged it. But they said, no, we'll give you a free flight. And so that was the first, uh, there was a, that was a major thing. And I think that gave us tremendous confidence, even though we were still not prepared to put a operational INSAT system, Indian National System. We had all the ability to understand the intricacies, even procuring was an expertise needed. We had it with Ford Aerospace. We bought the first four satellites of that. And but in the process, we developed our capability, our insight and our ultimately the infrastructure to do this. And that's how the insight was born. And insight later on became insight two, three, four and so on. Today, the whole constellation of insight systems and GSAT system owe their origin to that small step we took where French played a role and that is happened. That's very nice. That's so intriguing. That is so intriguing. Uh, I think <clears throat> one last question that I would have from you and then we'll move to some personal anecdotes. Um, just one last question that I have is how do you see this Indo-French relation in space and where do you see it going? Well, if <laughs> You asked me the vision. Uh, as of now, it is taking shape in many ways. One is India's uh, the developmental efforts, uh, where is space plays an important part. This is remote sensing, communication, education, healthcare systems, and things of that kind. The more and more sophistication in the use of satellites for grassroots application. That will be a core program. Our support from France would be more in terms of making the systems more sophisticated, mm -hmm. bringing concepts of artificial intelligence, expert system, virtual mm -hmm. reality. So you move higher in technologies in terms of making the applications much more efficient and capable. So there is going to be a good program of working together in this kind mm -hmm. of a thing. This will be taking further the applications component of the India Space Program, which will be of mutual and become perhaps has also global ambition. So mm. this kind of experience, especially with a country like India, mm. may have its applicability, may across the world. So mm. French, French kind, that, that's one possibility. The second is space science. India had worked good work with space science uh, with, uh, with France, but at a lower level. But now, we have French scientists who are with whom we work on atmospheric sciences and the environmental sciences and things, monsoonal systems and things of that kind. We think that we can now go to the next level in terms of environmental systems and atmospheric sciences and uh, uh, primarily because it is also a part of the global change and India's mm. contribution. India is quite serious about the global change related activities and to go, be a part of a global community which looks at all the aspects of the global change, which includes measurements, parameterization, modeling, simulation, prediction, besides ameliorative effects that we need to take. So there is a whole host of things. Mm -hmm. Already India is a part of the global um, disaster management charter in which French and in India played a pioneering role in the early years. So this will continue. This is the second part of it. Third is India's ambitions of the planetary systems. Already Chandrayaan kind of missions will continue. Mangalayaan will continue with the idea there is a long term kind of a thing where India can become a global partner in which I am sure that the French and the India is seriously looking at. And then they are even thinking of an infrared measurement of the Venus mm. where India is planning to put and they will put a by French is likely to put a instrument on the, uh, the, the Venus mission of mm. India 
so this kind and it will move in that direction and and man planetary missions and last one is a very important thing which is the human space flights as you know the present gaganian itself french is playing going to play a very crucial role in terms of making measurements for example things like uh, monitoring devices telemedicine systems and then uh, things like looking at uh, dresses with uh, uh, bluetooth uh, mm. pickups and things of that kind and there are many things with the french has already developed for their space program as you know 10 astronauts have flown over in france they got a 40 years of human space flight experience and they have it mnr and not only with respect to the human presence in space and the automatic atp kind of a thing mm. so this experience the french is willing to share with india which is which i think and gaganyaan is a starting point in terms of making giving lot of devices and other kinds of thing french has even a control center from which they do the control of the uh, european space manned space stations and their instruments and so on experience of that could be a very significant input for india's space program so these are all the current thrust towards a gaganyaan step and gaganyaan will lead to uh, india has got ambitions with regard to space station space station will be the next step and french has offered that they can play a significant role in space station because they have the experience of 40 years on manned space flight with the international space station and other thing so i am sure that we will work together in the area of space stations of future where india would be interested to initiate its activities third one will be the kind of missions which will lead to human presence in nearby solar system objects like moon and mars i am sure the international community will come together because of the resources and other kinds of thing but in this india and france may have a special role to play because india's so france very much believes on india's human resource their innovativeness and their absolute independence in terms of thinking ideas hmm. so this will be a very great asset for a joint upper program in kinds of future planetary exploration and programs so they think that and then of course there are a lot of technologies which india will benefit than the france and india today also is no less in ability to develop new technologies and innovative approaches to conduct the contact of specific areas of space science so with this i think there is a direction for planetary exploration there is unmanned initial thing then finally um, the planetary locations like moon and uh, mars where there could be human uh, presence in the initial stages in all these things the france is offering its expertise to india and india is extremely interested in working with france primarily because of the heritage of cooperation between this so i think there's a future direction in which applications global change space science planetary exploration human presence in space five or six of these elements they will all okay, the, the indo french cooperation will encompass in future all these five or six elements